Hey guys, it's Amy. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing a video on Clarence makeup. I'm going to be doing an entire full face with using only products that I got from the Clarence section. Aside from like brushes and stuff, other than the brushes, everything is from the Clarence section at Ulta. I can try and link everything below, but with everything being on Clarence, I think it's things that are being discontinued and they might not all be online for you to get, but I will try my best to put as many things as I can down there. Don't forget you can follow me on Snapchat at Amy underscore Renee 12 and on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter all at GeekBeauty93 and let's go ahead and get into the video. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to use is this primer. Um, this technically wasn't on clearance, but because I bought stuff with Maybelline, they gave me this for free. And I couldn't find a primer, so this kind of worked out great for that. I should probably take my glasses off. That would have been smart. But I'm not sure how I feel about this primer, just because it's a hydrating primer. And I have really oily skin. So I don't know how well this is going to hold up. Next step is foundation. <clears throat> for foundation, I'm using the... Well, some of these have, still have the Clarence stickers on them, some of them don't. I was too lazy to take some of them off. Um, but this is just the Maybelline Fit Me Foundation. It's on clearance for $2.99, so can't pass that up. Now this is not my shade. I already know that it's going to be way too dark, but we're going to work with what we got. Also don't mind the giant zit on my face. I woke up this morning with that and was like, great, I have a lot of videos I need to film today. and. That's the day that it comes up. Um, I'm using my Morphe Y6 brush. Um, I'm not popular enough to have an affiliation code, so you don't gotta deal with that. I mean, there's plenty of other codes that you can do, though. Um, I know that Jaclyn Hill's got one. Um, you can honestly just use any of their codes and I think you get like 10% off something like that great it's not covering up my zits next is going to be concealer and for concealer I just got this L'Oreal true match like kind of a crayon concealer mm -hmm. and I'm pretty sure this is gonna be too dark as well but luckily it's lighter than the foundation I put on so even though it's not my shade, at least it's the right shade with this foundation, if that makes any sense. I've also never used a crown concealer like this. I think the last, I did use one like long time ago, like in like seventh grade. Um, and it was just like one of those like cover girl crayons, you know? I'm gonna put a little bit more. Ow, this is it hurts. Have you guys ever had those? Like, it's not poppable yet. Look at me, like, just, like, having a full-on conversation with you guys about my zits. Like, this is what my life has become. Shouldn't be talking to you about these things, but... I don't know, I feel comfortable with you guys. Like, let's be honest, I've got a strong feeling that the only people that watch my videos are, like, my coworkers and family. That's about it, guys. So, I feel like I can talk to you guys about these things and not worry about, like, judgment. Although, I know that my coworkers judge me. But they already know that I'm insane, so. This concealer is not half bad. Maybe, maybe the concealer is my shade, hopefully. It might at least be one that I can wear for, like, a natural look. Oh my gosh, have you, have any of you guys seen my very first makeup tutorial that I did, I wouldn't even call what I did a tutorial, but my very first tutorial I did, I put um, concealer on my nose and never blended it out. And to this day, like, it's still on there. I can link it. Um, where will it be? It'll be either here or here. I have yet to figure out which one is which. But somewhere up here, um, I will link the video where I just completely forgot to blend out the concealer here. And the whole time I'm watching this video, I'm like, blend it, blend it, and it, does, it never gets blended out. And then I go and put a powder highlight on top of it, and it's just, it bugs me to death watching that. Guys, the mirror I'm using is really dirty, and I'm like kind of far away from it. 
Let me like pull this closer to me. Is that better? You guys can't really see it still. Okay. Oh my gosh, yeah, and I got that zit up there too. So it's just a day. And this whole video, I feel like I'm like this. So you guys can clearly see it. I picked a bad day to film this video, guys, but oh well. We're all friends here. So this is the L'Oreal Infallible Pro Glow. It's not something I would normally use. I'm very oily and this gives you more of a glow. And I'm trying to get away from the glow. It's separated by a matte and a shimmery color. So I'm gonna try and just dip in to the matte part and not even attempt the other. Well, at least it matches whatever color we've got going on today. This is not the right shade actually now that I'm blending it. It's darker. Yeah, I think I made things worse. So for bronzer, I'm gonna be using this palette. It is a Ulta Beauty collection palette um, that was on clearance for like $8. Um, and I'm gonna be using this for my bronzer, blush, highlight, and all my eyeshadows. So I'm going to take whatever brush this is and dip into this really dark brown. So that should go really well. And I'm probably gonna look like a clown today, but you know. That's how it goes. Okay, so nothing. All that's doing is taking off my concealer from my zit and making that more noticeable. Oh. <sighs> Guys. You saw the first time I put something on, nothing was there, right? Like we all saw that. And so I dip in some more because I knew that it wasn't gonna give me a lot of pigment and now we're overdoing it on pigment. It's okay. You know what guys, I don't think I'm going anywhere today, so. No one in public has to see me, just all the people on the internet, that's nice. It's cool, it's cool, it's fun. We're gonna, we're gonna make this work. So as far as this bronzer goes, um. I would not recommend it. How do I look guys? Do I look good? Here's the funny thing is since I'm doing my makeup, I can't tell how it looks like on camera because I'm blind. So even though I've got like my little screen out here like pushed out, I still can't see myself because it's still just a blurry mess. So I have no idea if anything's in focus. I have like I could be out of focus this entire video. The only thing I can see is this mirror in front of me. And even then I can barely see that because it's completely dirty. So welcome to my life. Okay. It's extremely powdery too. Um, for blush, I'm going to just dip in to that little blush color. And hopefully I don't look like a clown. Okay, that's not bad. For highlight, I'm gonna go in with this shade. Nothing's coming off on the brush, perfect. Ooh, okay. Okay. So maybe it was coming off on the brush. <laughs> Cause that is, wow. Guys, I'm gonna blend that out. I feel like I'm gonna look, well if I didn't think I looked glowy enough with that glow powder, this sure as hell did it for me. Perfect. You know what I feel like this video has turned into? I feel like this has turned into, like, how much can Amy, like, mess up her face? That's, I think that's really where we're at right now. Okay, guys, on to eyeshadow. So for this one, I'm going to kind of zoom you guys in a little bit so you can kind of see what I'm doing with my eyes. I'm going to go in with this one up here. Again, I'm really sorry if, like, this whole video is out of focus. I can already tell it's struggling, but we're going to, we're going to work with this, guys. I can already, oh my gosh, the concealer in, on my, um, on my eyelid is already creased. So that's never a good sign. But this, um, this color, I don't know if it's this color or if this is my dirty brush because it shouldn't be that gray. But the last thing I used with this brush was a gray. So I think some of that just transferred over. 
Yeah, because that should not have been that dark. Okay, so now I gotta darken that up a little bit. And so I'm gonna just take this like purple color and hopefully be able to mimic what I just did over there on accident. Oh, a little much, little much. Okay, so note to self, these shadows, pretty much everything in this palette is extremely pigmented. And I was not expecting it. This is what sucks with doing makeup, is if you mess up, you've got to even out the other side, and then it can just get really crazy. Like, have you guys ever had the problem where you go to, like, wing out your liner, and you're like, oh, it's a little too high on this side and not this side, so now i got to wing this side out. And then next thing you know, your wing's, like, up to here. Now I'm going to take this darker color here and just kind of put that out here looking awful. If you guys thought you were coming here to know how to make like really gorgeous makeup looks, you on the wrong channel, honey. Because my entire like life and makeup, it's all just winging it. I really, I don't know what I'm doing. Now, everyone's always asking me at work, they're like, you should do like a makeup tutorial on like a really pretty eye look. And I'm like, have you met me? Like, that's not gonna happen. This is not a tutorial. This is not a how-to video. We all balling on a budget. And this is just so I can see if we can still get just as good of quality makeup in the Clarence section as we can just like on the regular shelf. Everything's really pigmented and it's blending okay, at least for the eyeshadows. The, the bronzer, I don't think it's that bad. It's a little, again, it's a little dark. But I think everything in this video is a little dark for me, um, just because I'm really fair. But everything's working really well. Um, I'm going to actually take the highlight shade, since it's so bright. I'm going to take that and I'm going to put that on my lid. Oh my gosh, I totally forgot to do my brows, guys. Guys. I cannot get this open. I couldn't get all of the wrapping off of this thing because it's just like a freaking nightmare, but I got it off enough to get, well, to get, what in the hell is this? <sighs> Guys, I thought this was like a brow pencil, but look, it's like, let's see if I can do this. It's like a sponge. Is it gonna focus? There, look at that. It's like a little paint sponge. I'm gonna attempt this, guys. I don't know how well it's gonna go. My brows are already a hot mess and need waxing, so. Let's do this. There's no instructions either. Oh, I can see it. I can see it darkening. I'm supposed to like what does it look any different guys I'm not seeing anything how is it supposed to is that it Okay guys, since that thing is not wanting to work, I'm just going to fill in my brows off camera with my Goof Proof brow pencil. Okay, so as far as the eyeliner goes, we're gonna just try this green and see how that goes. You think this is gonna look good? Cause I don't. Guys, can you hear that? I think my neighbors are like trying to kill somebody upstairs. I can just hear some guy out there going, hi! Guys, this is already drying out on me. Like, as I'm putting it on. And you saw, I was just now taking it out of the packaging. Because I can't even do a wing with this. It's not wet enough. When I like touch, I have to tug. So this is the crappy eye look that we've come up with. What do you guys think? Good? No. So I do have just a black, what is this? Maybelline Master whatever. 
that's not even going to focus. Maybe if I pull it all the way back here, you can see it here. Look at that. Um, now, I thought like this was the cap, but no, this whole thing here is like a crayon. And I don't know how you're supposed to sharpen that. But whatever. I'm just going to use that to put in my waterline. Guys, this smells awful. And as immediately when I put it on my eyes, it like burns like that's not normal right and for my mascara I'm going to be using something I've actually already used before it used to be one of my favorites it's the L'Oreal voluminous butterfly um I used to use this mascara every day and now it's being discontinued which is very sad but that means I just got it for a cheap price so I'll take that all of these products feel like they're already dried out and they've already been like used because like this mascara doesn't even feel wet okay that's what we get that's about it okay so now that I'm done with my eye makeup I went ahead and put my glasses on so I can see what I'm doing for this last final part um, for this last part the lipstick I'm gonna be using is not going to go with this look at all um, but we're gonna give it a shot. Um, this is just a Maybelline matte lipstick, um, but it's in one of my favorite colors, which is like a gray purple, so. Don't know how well this is gonna look, but we're gonna try it. It's not going on very smooth. And I keep thinking like the more I put on, the more moisturizing it's gonna get. Color's nice. Color's right up my alley. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Um, if you liked it, please give it a thumbs up. I'm going to try and link some of the stuff below. All in all, I think that the foundation was really nice. It was just not my shade. Um, the powder I would not get again just because it made me really glowy. I'm not really huge on that. The concealer. The concealer's really nice, honestly. Like, I think it did a good job. It's just, I wouldn't use it on blemishes. I would only use it for the under eyes. Um, and then definitely, definitely, I think if you guys still have them available, go pick up one of these. Um, it comes with this cute little carrying case. And it also comes with a pack of stickers. All for like $8.00. And it's really nice. Like, these eyeshadows blended really nice. They were extremely pigmented. Um, these were nice and pigmented. I would just, if I had known that they were going to be this pigmented, I would have, like, kind of tapped off a little bit more. But I was thinking it's going to be Ulta brand. It's going to not have very much pigment to it. But Ulta just proved me wrong because I was not expecting that quality from them. So definitely go and pick one of those up. Um, other than that, everything else was kind of okay nothing too crazy to talk about um definitely would not recommend the brow that that was a joke make sure to subscribe down below if you're not already and hit that notification bell so you guys can get notified every single time i make an upload and i'll catch you guys in my next one bye guys